think what's fascinating about this entire study is how such an interesting mechanism can come from something so common. So I was home for the break during my PhD studies, and my family cat Murphy decided to sit on my lap on top of a microfiber blanket. For some reason, he thought the blanket smelled really tasty, so he decided to take a lick, and he actually got his tongue stuck on some of those loops of the fabric. Great. <laughs> It got me thinking, well, why on earth did this tongue get stuck in the first place? Uh, I thought cat tongues were like sandpaper. So I came back to the lab. We happened to have a cat tongue in the freezer, and I took a closer look under a microscope. And that's where it all started. They actually have a shape very similar to cat claws. So they're curved on the top and curved on the bottom. But different from cat claws, they actually have a U-shaped uh, channel on the very bottom of the spine. So applications from this tongue study could be uh, new types of carpet cleaning technologies or ways to uh, apply medication to your pet's fur or skin or even potentially ways to reduce allergens in cat fur for people who have allergies.